wonder what's inside. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get the butterfly to go in your handy, Lise. There's definitely a sound of something. Coyote. Coyote. I'm sorry that you have a headache. The end. Here she goes, up the steps. She's going across and down the slide. Janae's a huge fan of this slide. Watch this, Laura. We're watching. Whoa! Good oh, work. What a good preschooler. And we laugh. Oh, she's gonna go again. <laughs> yes, Miss Laura has been really working at climbing up this tree. Oh, good stretch. Laura, you are way up there. Way up there. Good morning. It is another morning of homeschool and we're really having a lot of fun with this. We started the day off with reading a poem and some scriptures and praying together and then reading a book about owls. What in the world is owling? Let's find out. You go, oh, oh. Janine, do you see the owl? This artist is really good at shadows. And trees. And now, I kind of introduced the kids to the idea of tracks, animal tracks, footprints. This is what an elk track looks like. And we have a lot of elk up here in this forest. The elk foot would be like as big as this. And we're gonna go on a little hunt for them. We started in our meadow, got a little distracted with the slide. I'm looking for footprints. Is that what for we're doing? Animals. Yeah, we're looking for animal footprints. Yeah. What did you find? Look, come here. There it is. Guys, look. There's some sort of a track right there. That doesn't look like a footprint. That looks like where maybe an insect lives. Or maybe a snake. <laughs> now we're gonna go out on a little hike and see if we can find any animal tracks. Laura got a walking stick, just like Mugga. Grandma's coming on our morning walk with us. Janae got a walking stick as well, of course. These are called tire tracks. And then I also see some footprints Looks like somebody's been walking on this trail. There's Dad's footprint. Can you make a footprint? Let's go this way. I love when we go on hikes and are looking for something because it makes us so observant. It's true. What does observant mean? We're really looking and paying attention. She's using her walking stick. Did I make a trick? Yep. Oh, that's a heavy one. That's a heavy one. Do you need help? No. Janae's now on Jeremy's shoulders. Caleb found a walking log. Tired? Probably because I'm lifting this. And we just came up a serious hill. We got some deer poo. Elk poo. Well, it's deer or elk poo, which means there's probably tracks around. Let's be honest, we definitely don't know what we're doing, but we're having fun doing it. There's a tiny bit of water in the creek, and this is where we think we can find Look, some good tracks. There's some tracks right down here, too. Right. Toes. This one goes in, 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 in. And then there's a bunch of tracks right over. These look like deer tracks or elk tracks around this butterfly. There's a print right there. Such a beautiful butterfly. Oh, it's like crawling around showing off for us. Look how beautiful that is. Trying to get the butterfly to go in your handy, Lise? Prince, Prince. And then more prints up here. You guys, there's something up here. <gasps> there's definitely a sound of something. Coyote. coyote. It's a coyote. And it was chasing a deer. Oh, there's the deer up there. There's several deer. But a coyote is right on its track. There was a family of deer right there. And there was a coyote coming around the corner watching the deer. I just saw a coyote. So this is like planet Earth, but like 50 feet in front of you and live. I'm making a schedule of what we saw today.
Laura asked me to come out and set up a hammock with her. Bye. Caleb's in with her. We raised the hammock up a little bit, so they weren't on the... F <gasps> Do you hear the thunder? Are you scared of thunder? I am sometimes scared of lightning. <laughs> Your hair's all staticky. We are playing trekking the I national parks. It reminds me a lot of Ticket to Ride. So all of the different spots are in national parks? Yep. How cool. So we love games where you learn as you play. One, two, okay. boom. All right. Bumped back to the start. Big Ben, Texas. I have a little bit of a headache, and so I came into my room to rest for a minute, which I rarely do, because as a mom, it's hard to get a chance to rest or lie down in the middle of the day. So I was in here for a few minutes, and Janae came and brought me the cutest note, and then she read it to me. Dear Mom, I love you, sweet, and I hope you love me too. I'm sorry that you have a headache. The end. And here's her pictures. Apparently Laura helped and Laura drew this one, but this is the one Janae drew and there's a mom holding her little girl and then another big girl with them. I thought that was so cute. Caleb has all his screwdrivers lined up, but he does not know why yet. So one of the things I love about homeschool is that we get to do activities that are specific to different kids' interest levels or just really personalize their homeschool curriculum. And Caleb, we have something fun planned for you this year. What is it? It's called the Take Apart Lab. I like taking apart. So here's Caleb's first project for Take Apart Lab. We got it for $2.49 at Goodwill. So do you even recognize what this thing is? Yeah. No? So it's an old style clock radio. Look, look, this is the radio stations right here. See that knob? Yeah. When you turn it, it's moving. it moves the radio station. So the question is, how does this work? This is gonna be fun. The goal is always not just to see if we can take it apart, but to see if then we can put it back together. Cause then I have my own radio. Wonder what's inside. Oh my goodness. So, this is what was inside of there. Do you know what any of it is? Nope. Who do you think we should ask? Papa. So, we had laid Janae down for a nap time, and I didn't find her up in her bed, and I heard some clicking in this closet. So, I decided to investigate. My home. Is this your home? Mm -hmm. You set up the flashlight in here? What do you do in your home? This is my teacher's thing. Oh, got a teacher's thing. This is my um, school pet. Would you like pet her? What's, the, what's your school pet's name? Um, Bella. Very nice. That's Bella. You can pet her with your Ella. Oh, thank you. She's very nice. Hi, Bella. She just smells here. Mm -hmm. I bet that's a magnet, and that would be called a speaker. Why yep. in the world do speakers have magnets? It's how they, with the electrical impulse, it's, it's what they use to pull the uh -huh. the membrane back and forth, sort of like a is drum Is a magnet. Yeah. Everybody's getting interested. Oh this is a transformer, so you plug it into 110. So it's changing it to another voltage. So all of this runs on a lower, probably a lower voltage. Wait, does this work? Right? We don't know. We haven't tested it yet. By the time Wait, we get done, it probably piano? won't work. Where did, you, where did you get it? What I think you could do at this point is plug it in and see if we oh, can get it to work. One. There's a light going and it's blinking on the clock radio. So here's the buttons, what they look like on the bottom. So Caleb's pushing the buttons on the top and then right here they connect over here. I got two. Two school pets? Uh-huh. And they're very nice. You What's this pick... one's named? Um, let me name it. Bingo. Bingo. And it's, it's a really nice puppy. My baby is right here. She's a nice one. She helps people in set. She's a baby. All right, well, I'm going to let you get back to work, okay? Okay. All right. 
Caleb's trying to take off the circuit board, but we think he might have to take a few other things off first. So this board, the graphite over here, when the button is pushed down, it completes the circuit. Yeah. Does that really make any cool. sense to you? Yeah. This reminds me of the game Snap Circuits that you've played. Mm -hmm. But this is it in real life. Yeah. Oh, you got it. So Elisa's hair is so blonde in some spots and so dark in other spots. Natural highlights. <laughs> Very beautiful. What have you been practicing? Ballet. Nice. Are you excited for your turn to take something apart? Yeah. Whoa! This is the magnet. Oh, it's magnetizing the screwdriver to it. That's cool. Good job. You put it back together. I did. I will watch their her I pray. Pray. But listen to their problem. Listen to what's hard. But they can't move their eyes. What? When I want to, I can keep my head still and look over there. And I can look over there. Because my eyes move. Do your eyes move? Hold your head still. There you go. See, your eyes move. Owl's eyes don't move. There's so if they want to look different. But do they blink? They do blink, I think. I don't actually know, we might have to research that. But if your eyes are stuck in one space, to look different places, you have to move your head. So Laura, keep your eyes straight and move your head to see. Our family's kind of split on the cheeseburger versus hamburger debate. I definitely am a cheeseburger girl, Mama. especially with Swiss cheese. I'm a cheeseburger with cheddar cheese. Ooh, nice flip. So how about you, hamburgers or cheeseburgers? Hamburger. Hamburger? I hate cheese on my burgers. All right, Jeremy, how about you? I like cheeseburgers better. Me too. You? Yeah. We're having tater tots with the burgers tonight. I love tater tots. And I couldn't wait, and I took a bite. So good. We also have apples and pears and some peppers. All right, how's the burgers? Awesome. Are they good? Mm-hmm. Yes. So we're having dessert tonight, which has been a rare occasion lately, so we're all pretty excited about it. Elise is making us some gluten-free cookies. It's so nice having a kiddo grown up enough to be able to do this on your own. Yeah, I enjoy it anyway. You want to go on a morning walk? Yeah. So Janae, this is actually a nighttime walk. Oh. Okay, you want to go? Yeah. I'll take you on a little walk. You guys looking for owls? They're not anywhere. That's probably still a little too bright. Maybe tonight's a good night for owling. Who's making the sound? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Look at those muscles. <laughs> Wait, am I flexing? <laughs> you have to. You gotta be buff to make cookies like this. What I do to make it less hard, but it's harder, well, I put all the wet stuff in, like the butter, butter, and egg. Mm -hmm. And then I put... The dry stuff in? Yeah. What's your favorite cookie? I surprisingly really like oatmeal raisin cookies. Yeah. Or are those like thin mint cookies? Oh, those thin mint cookies? I eat a whole thing of those if I could. You know what though? It's probably all a tie with snickerdoodles too. I really like snickerdoodles. <gasps> Have the cookies. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I'm gonna go deliver some cookies to Papa and Mugga. Drop in the mountains. <laughs> We come to your cabin. We brought you fresh cookies. We hope you like them. <laughs> Christmas caroling. It is Christmas at the cabin. cabin. Cookie caroling. Thank you guys. This one is give me five. Good night. Do yourself. Janae's wanting to tell all of us a story. Once upon a time, 